Yeah, this is Bob with uh, Film the Police, and um, my YouTube channel is Robert West. And uh, I wanted to uh, bring up uh, uh, the riot over at Cider Riot. Um, it's making a lot of news and a lot of publicity, which is downright discouraging to me. Um, and... Uh, the media is doing, or the um, owner is doing a media ploy and uh, deciding to sue Joey Gibson and several other people for a million dollars, which I think is like totally retarded. They got some uh, goofball law organization that, um, has decided to uh, do this pro bono <laughs> that means free so they're not charging the owner anything um, to uh, do this lawsuit which I think is like a total disgrace okay uh, one thing they're alleging is that Joy Gibson trespassed on their property. When all the video that I've seen shows that Joey Gibson did not trespass on their property, but was actually on the sidewalk. Okay, Joy Gibson was actually attacked. None of the Patriot of Prayer did anything to any of the Antifa. Antifa attacked the Patriots of Prayer. Okay. Um, and I thought that it was like totally, totally retarded for them to even bring such a thing up. Okay. Um, they're saying that there's economic damages done, you know, economic damages, what economic damages? Because people filed complaints with the OLCC, the Oregon Liquor Commission, um, People are allowed to file complaints anytime they want if they see something that's wrong. Unfortunately, it looked like, in my opinion, that they violated some of the rule, some of the some of the rules that the Oregon Liquor Commission put down. As soon as they picked up their alcohol and started throwing it at Patriots of Prayer, that's a violation of OLCC. Um, the fact that they allowed armed goons on their property. Um, to attack people on the sidewalk, that seems like that would be a violation of OLCC. Um, this is really disheartening to me that, that such a law organization would stoop so low as to uh, try to get, you know, because try to get publicity. Because that's all it is. The side of rights going, hey, look, we're suing for a million dollars. And some law firms going, some uh, um, Oregon nonprofit law firms going, we're taking the case pro bono. Come donate to us right now. We need money. Well, so does, so, so does a lot of other stuff. I know homeless organizations, they need money. Uh, cop watchers always need money. Um, and it's, it's, it, it's a sad thing that, uh, um, you know they did they did that and yes i would like to see people turn around and sue cider riot for the damages they suffered the only person that i seen go on their property was a guy from ohsu that was taking pictures and antifa came out with one of those uh uh metal batons and smashed his camera lens and he chased the dude into cider riot and was attacked at the door. Now that's a crying shame when thugs can go break people's stuff and run into an establishment and the establishment's bouncers physically attack someone uh, to make sure that they don't go in there and uh, get information they need to uh, have the individual arrested. Now I'm totally against demasking people um, and passing laws for the masking for uh, um, 
make it a criminal act to uh, arrest people with masks because of religious and also because of medical reasons. Um, that shouldn't go, something like that shouldn't go into effect. But what they should do is pass a law making it a criminal offense to wear a mask during a protest where um, you're committing a crime. Okay. Antifa has a rule, uh, no face, no case. Basically, if you can't identify the person or the person's unidentifiable, then there's no legal case to file against the person, either criminal or civil. Um, but it's gone to the point of, you know, where they're actually hiding behind the mask and doing a crime. You know, um, a lady got injured. Um, that was a shame that she got injured. Um, but she was all up in the middle of all that the whole time. I mean, it's sad that she put herself in that situation, but she did. Um, she kept getting in Demi's face. Demi punched her or pushed her or whatever someone wanted to say. And then um, while she was acting up, another guy hit her with, a, with one of those metal batons um, and knocked her out. I'm not buying that um, that her um, spinal cord was cracked. I'm not buying that any of her vertebrae were damaged. Um, but I do believe she was knocked out. So I'm going to shut my phone off because people disrespectfully call me when I'm uh, doing this and then they just can't seem to not, you know, they got to keep calling, 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 calling. Um, so, yeah, to me, it's a it's a political ploy. Um, they're, um, I'm looking, I understand there's supposed to be 30 John Doe defendants. I'm looking forward to getting my case, my, you know, the case that was, my name on that case, and then we'll see what really happens. Because like I said, you know, uh, they harbored a um, domestic terrorist organization at Cyber, Cyber Riot. Um, and this domestic organization has attacked mentally ill. Um, it's attacked elderly. Um, and my understanding is it's attacked children. It's attacked media. And... Uh, you know what? What? What can I say? You know, if if you house if you house terrorists, then you know I don't have too much sympathy for you. Um, but like I said, I think it's a media ploy to try to get people to go to cyber cyber riot. I'm sure they're making a lot, making a killing off all the people that's going in there now. And they should be making a killing from all the media publicity they're getting, especially when Antifa used their wine glasses and uh, their alcohol glasses to throw a Patriot prayer, you know, and Patriot prayers being sued, you know, that is a crying shame. Like I said, you know, um, this is... Uh, a media ploy so that they can get more people in and I believe that um, it is a, a ploy by by the um, owners of the restaurant to um, um, get more money in and I also believe that it's a ploy by the law firm which is a nonprofit to uh, try to get more money and say, look, we need all this extra. We're helping these people out. We, we, we can always use the extra donations, you know? Yeah, we got to pay our attorneys $50 an hour, you know, or 300 or whatever, you know? And the, and the true victims of, the, of this, 
the Patriot Prayer, um, and uh, the Proud Boys were the true victims, can't get any representation at all. What kind of justice is that? You know, like, I, like I've told people before, why is the Statue of Liberty blindfolded? Do you know why? Because she would shit her pants if she seen the way our justice system is now. Bunch of crooks running it. This is Bob with Film the Police signing off.